a lot of people are concerned about wheat and gluten and celiac disease, but wheat allergy itself isn't the cause of celiac disease. Is that true? Correct, yeah. When we talk about allergy, there's a certain type of immune response or allergy response that gives a true allergy when someone gets severe abdominal pain or rashes or difficulty breathing right after eating. So that's more like allergy. Whereas the celiac is due to uh, ingestion of gluten that's part of the wheat. And this is not an acute reaction. This is something that builds up over months and years. And it's a different kind of immune reaction. It's not the typical allergic reaction. Um, but, the, but the antibodies that yeah. you take in common allergy are called IgE, is that correct? Correct. Right. The one we're worried about celiac causing um, celiac causes, yeah. what kind of an antibody that usually has? They are more of the class IgG and IgM antibodies and there's also another type of uh, uh, immune response what we call a delayed type of hypersensitivity or the allergic reaction right. that plays a role in the celiac disease. Well a lot of celiacs that have a low IgA and if you do certain antibody tests if it's not a significant amount of IgA circulating you can't have an antibody so it's a little bit difficult. But the point we're getting across, these are the same kind of antibodies you would normally have in a practice like you have an allergist. Right. This is a completely different type of one. It's very different.